Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm KU2 11 meteorologist Kim Castro. Here's a look at the extended tropical update. We're now looking at major Hurricane Raphael, which is strengthened into a Category 3 storm, packing 115 miles an hour, headed to the northwest at 14 and making its rounds towards Havana throughout the day. Now, it is going to continue to maintain hurricane strength as it breaches the Gulf here in the next coming days, but shortly thereafter weakening substantially and there's a number of reasons why that's going to happen first and foremost it is going to move into a more unfavorable environment and then it is going to be tugged by a front in upper level winds now as we head into monday it'll go from a major category three storm down into a tropical storm with winds at around 40 miles an hour that is the latest forecast from the national hurricane center now here's a look at infrared imagery it passed through Santa Fe close to it with that eye intact but once it got this land disruption uh, the eye isn't visible anymore the center of the storm though continues to race towards Cuba and it will make that landfall here shortly now in that spot the water is exceptionally warm look at the moisture in energy field that Raphael has been able to tap into these hurricanes only need 80 degree water temperature 90 degree water temperature is what it's had to play with. And even as we get closer towards um, Cuba, the water temperature still exceeds what it needs. So 84 degrees. As it passes into the Gulf, it's gonna maintain hurricane strength because the water in this side is also exceptionally warm, especially for this late in the season. 88 degrees to 84 to 83, that's still plenty warm, but what it won't have working in its favor as far as maintaining its strength, is the wind. Upper level wind looks fairly strong here over the next few days into this weekend and the coming week. And with a strong upper level wind, that produces wind shear, which would rip the storm apart. It wouldn't allow for proper ventilation of the hurricane and it wouldn't allow for vertical stacking, which is what the storm would need in order to sustain its strength. If it start to get pulled apart at, at the top, it would essentially choke itself out and start to weaken. Now, we also have another variable here in Southeast Texas, which would aid in the movement of Raphael away from us, which would be this front that we're tracking for Saturday morning. Now, as Raphael approaches, as it encounters the wind shear, it's gonna start to weaken, then it's gonna start to be influenced more and more by this front that's passing through the Lone Star State and pushing into the Gulf. I think by Sunday, we'll have a better understanding as to how Raphael is going to interact with the upper level winds. But right now, a couple of different synopsis or possibilities are that either Raphael pushes, any moisture that's left over closer towards Mexico, or it really starts to fall apart in the Gulf, the Central Gulf. Regardless, uh, the front that we do have coming in for this weekend, which increases our rain chances, is actually something we welcome. That is good news for Southeast Texas. So how does it start to increase our rain chances? Today, no rain in sight. As we head into Thursday, Friday, we'll add on a 20% chance for some isolated showers. I think you'll mainly just notice the return of humidity for the end of the work week. And then Saturday into Sunday, we'll hike up the rain chance to a 30 to 40%. That's because we'll have some organization with that front that is moving in. Lunch hour temperatures on our Wednesday were fabulous. We're looking at the upper 70s to low 80s, and we're mostly enjoying a clear sky. A few clouds out there, but for the most part, a big change from what we saw yesterday. This afternoon's high temperature makes it up to 84 degrees, and you get to enjoy this beautiful weather. I mean, look at the shot. Uh, it's just fantastic. Blue skies, uh, low humidity, not too warm. You get to enjoy that until 5.30. That is the sunset time for today. I talked about low humidity, and look at the dew points. Anytime you see them in the 50s, that's ideal. So we've had that nice north breeze streaming in behind the front that passed through yesterday, and that's brought about really calming, beautiful weather all the way down, even into Harris County. 
Galveston Island still looking at dew points in the low 70s, which is a little more humid, but we can expect that at the Gulf. Now, 70s is something we're going to have to watch for in terms of the humidity trend as we head into this weekend. And so today really is the day that you get to enjoy the best of the best. You don't have to carry an umbrella because there's no rain chance and you don't have to worry about you, you know, breaking a little bit of a sweat out there because humidity is nice and low. Tomorrow as the humidity makes a return and we start to see this warm front kind of lifting through here from the Gulf, we'll start to increase those rain chances. I think in the morning, maybe you feel a scattered sprinkle, a little shower, some mist, an isolated sh spotty shower for the afternoon is also possible. I think the higher likelihood for you seeing an afternoon shower is going to come in on our Friday. So here's a snapshot from our future track models. I think traveling along I-10, the Katy Freeway, maybe along 5969, you see an isolated downpour here and there. But I think it's the exception, not the rule at least for Thursday and Friday. Saturday with that front organizing the rain, if you have Saturday morning plans, you might want to postpone those or uh, rearrange them. So maybe instead of going for that Saturday morning run, you go for a Friday morning run because this looks pretty messy for us. Some more heavy rain is expected to roll into Southeast Texas. And really the rain outlook through November 16th shows we're expecting above average moisture which is good. I mean, we saw the 35 days of no measurable rain. So, so far this month, we are well above what's average for this time of year. And for the year, we're pretty above average too. So eight and a half inches. This is the drought monitor that we got last week. Uh, we get a brand new one coming in tomorrow morning on our Thursday, and I think we'll see some major improvements. So this doesn't take into account all the rain that we got uh, this past weekend and this week. So now tomorrow's forecast for the drought report, I think looks a lot better. We'll most likely get out of that severe drought category. Okay, seven day forecast for you. Temperature wise, we'll be on the warm side tomorrow and definitely a little more humid. If you're wanting to uh, see a little drop in temperatures, I think Saturday's front will make it a little more pleasant out there, though this is still running above average for this time of year.